Hello YouTube, what is up? Commando here with a video, obviously. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing a figure unboxing for my Commando May channel. This will uh, be of Morrigan from Darkstalkers, the fighting game series. This is the uh, Capcom figure builder creators model uh, version from, <clears throat> from Capcom. Uh, it's really large. The scale, uh, I'm not 100% sure of right now, but I'm sure it says on the video title. Probably about one seventh, I'd say. So I know I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, it's Christmas time again, so I have boxes. I will try and do more than one or two figures this Christmas. Um, last year I got so swamped, and everything's been crazy since like I went back to school and went my surgery and all that, so... I'm really annoyed that I'm not making as much content as I would like for you guys because I like doing unboxings and I like you watching them. But So it's a big uh, operation when I do unboxings. I have to, especially now since I don't have room for the figures, I have to unbox the figure, do the video, uh, take like 50 pictures to immortalize them in the images, upload those to uh, two different websites, upload the YouTube video, make a blog on MSC, make a post on my figure thing on Facebook, do all the editing and stuff so it's about like two hours of work per video or something like that but I like doing it so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try and do a couple videos uh, today preferably in a row so this sorry for my uh, ranting if I sound a little weird I got elastics back in my mouth um, from my braces for some stupid reason so anyway here we go I've never opened this before, as you can see. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's do the front of the box. The right of the box. The back of the box. I believe the art is both on the front and the sides of what the uh, figure is based off of, if you can't see it yet. The left of the box. <coughs> Those hips don't lie. Back to the front. And the top is a little different than most boxes, so I'll show you that as well. Alrighty, so now that we have cut everything, let's uh let's open her up. See see what's inside. This is a really nice uh, sturdy box, like it's really solid. So Alright, so there is the blister packaging. And <clears throat> so I haven't seen her yet, but uh, there she is in the blister pack. Hopefully everything is in order. Uh, let me just flip it down here and take a good look. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This figure is nice. So it seems to consist of two wings, the main figure, and the um, nice looking base. It's sort of a professional and uh, terrainal like sort of situational base. I'm not a big fan of like area bases. I like more dis professional display oriented bases. So this looks like a good mix of both. I don't think these blister packs are taped together. No. So no tape to be cut. And a uh, of plastic on top. Smells very fittery. So. She's really, really well made from what I can see right now. Um, let's just pull all the pieces individually out. And remember how I do it because I do have to box her back up because I don't have space. I might keep her on my desk for like a day or two though. So there's that. So I don't know what I was really expecting from the quality of this figure. It looks like there's another insert here. Yep. But so far. It's uh, surpassed whatever expectations I had. I was expecting like a decent figure, but this is like... Upon closer inspection, this is like... Like Alter, like Max Factory type quality. Like, I'm not even joking. Like there's a, maybe one or two seams in the hair, but they're on the back of the figure. There's no paint out of line. Like everything is like pristine. And, oh, there's the two holes in her back for her, uh, wings to go, so. <clears throat> My 
better. Sorry, I watched that uh, Me 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 music video, which was like super weird and also awesome. All right, so here is the figure. It's uh, still got some plastic on there, but as you can see, incredible looking. Uh, Morrigan, sexy ass character anyway, so. I've always wanted a Morrigan figure, but I never really found one that was uh, really high quality. And uh, so I was just kind of like looking around, and then this one sort of popped up, and I was like, yes. Yes. Alright, so there's the figure. Uh, here are the wings. I'm assuming they're identical. So, wing number one. The right wing. Are you a right wing or a left wing activist? That was a joke. That was a poorly executed joke. Disregard. All right, so we got the uh, the left wing. Together they are the perfect human. That was a po political joke again. So her base. Uh, I actually have a figure with a base just like this. It's uh, my Squid Girl figure. So it's really nice color. Uh, it's got a moon on it and some bats, and it kind of swirls around. And as you can see there, it um, there's no peg or anything to stick her on. That literally just goes into the crease of her ass crack, and that is how she sits on the base. And from what I can tell, if the contours are right, she will stick very well, because as you can see, uh, there looks like a lot of, of um, like, you know, words and stuff. So, here's the figure overall. A little bit of shinies on her breastuses. Looks like some maybe uh, some of the matte finish was uh, scratched off, but that's fine. So, I'm going to get her on the base and I'm going to do the uh, rest of that, so stay tuned. All right, hello. <clears throat> so I'm back, obviously. Um, I got her on her base and her wings onto her body. Uh, the wings are, they're sort of a thinner um, plastic, and they're like the really hard plastic, so there's no give in them at all. So um, it was really like hard to get them in, because um, the slots to get the wings in are behind her back, and of course, under her hair. <clears throat> and her head doesn't come off or anything, so as far as I know, anyway, um, from what I can tell, there's no instructions in the box, but you have to push the wings in, and uh, each wing goes into its own slot, but the right one went in okay, it, you gotta force it, like really force it, and uh, the left one, uh, you have to force it too, but I couldn't get a good angle where I could push in on the peg into the back without like snapping the wing, and it was just a weird angle and I couldn't push it hard enough to get it in. So she's a little wiggly on the base. But that's because of the left wing, I think. Because um, how the base works, alright, that one spot does crease at her, at her, at her butt crack. But uh, the wings actually have slots that they go into on the top of the base and that keeps her uh, still. So the, the wings are what hold her in the base and the butt thing is just kind of a support like a cradle. So it works really well. It was a really interesting um, design decision on how they uh, came up with that. But uh, the base is relatively well weighted. I don't feel like she's going to tip back unless I like physically tip her backwards. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's she's relatively well weighted in the front, uh, so she's not going to tip over. Um, but yeah, so here's the front of the figure. See how she wobbles a little? That's because, uh, yeah, she's supposed to be like that. But the left wing is uh, not in all the way, so... This is what you get. And it still, you know, it still looks good. It only wobbles if you shake it, so it's... It's a really, really high quality figure, and I'm super happy with it. Uh, Morrigan is one of the curviest, like, sexiest characters that, like, I can think of from video games, aside from, like, Bayonetta, but, um... The new Bayonetta figure that came out, it's like super overpriced and it's not even like Kirby at all, but I digress. So the back of the figure, the 
left of the figure. Mm. Mm. And back to the front. Hopefully I didn't mess up the towel too much. But yeah, it's a... Uh, <coughs> It's an incredibly well-made figure. Hopefully, you can you can see that. Um, I'll do a road review at the end of this to uh, sort of s clarify. But yeah, overall, um, quality-wise, she's very well made. Um, the paint is spot on. There's not really any like miss paint or anything. There's some glossy bits on her breasts, um, just because like the matte finish was like taken off. Uh, her leather outfit is like very glossy, um, so that's nice. Or they might have just gotten some of the glossy paint or the glossy clear coat for that on on some of her skin parts. But um, you know, other than that, she's really well made. Uh, the base might seem a little flimsy, and after a while, I think it'll uh, it'll be better. It's like you know how you leave figures in like on display for a while; their base kind of gets like stuck to the ground with like like whatever dust or whatever. I think once that happens, after like a week or two of having her displayed, you'll you'll be fine. But until then, uh, her tipping might be an issue if she's on like a less than even plane and you don't have her in all the way like I do. Because, uh, yeah, if you have her in like all the way like she's supposed to, her feet go f like forward and back a little more so her knees are more to the front. So it's more of a, there's more counterweight to the back. But, uh, yeah, overall, quality wise, super impressive. Uh, I'm really happy with uh, this Morrigan figure. And I really look forward to uh, whatever other figures uh, this Capcom company makes, because I have never heard of them until I got this figure, and I still don't know of anything that they're currently producing, so I'll have to look into that. But thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Um, the box is down there, I put it up side by side with the figure while I thought, but since I'm going to be boxing her back up, I don't want to move it. So, yes, thank you for watching. Sorry about the lack of content over the last few months. I've been at school and stuff. And uh, this setup, actually, that I have right here is a setup of convenience. Like, there's a table that you guys are on, the camera, this table, and then my chair, and it's just all convenient. But in my new place that I live, I don't have a setup like that, but since I'm home for Christmas, I can do as many videos as I sort of feel like doing. So... Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, please rate, comment, like. Uh, let me know if you have this figure, uh, what you thought about her wings and getting them in. And um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I need to shut up now. Road review. Music. Darkstalkers.